Now before you go and rip me apart in the comments, understand that this is my own opinion. I'm not saying the game isn't hard, it's a hard game and I did struggle. But after having put about 100 hours into the game and watching numerous playthroughs and streams, I've come up with four things that could be improved in Bloodborne and could make Bloodborne 2 the hardest game yet. And remember, this is my opinion. I'm Bart Alert, and these are four reasons Bloodborne is too easy. Number one has got to be level echo grinding. I'm not talking going and killing a few enemies to bring you over the top for a level. I'm talking grinding out echoes for hours to level your character to the point where you're one shot killing basically everyone. As much fun as that can be, I don't feel like that's the goal of these hard games. They're meant to frustrate you. You're supposed to struggle. But after a while, you get better, you learn the attacks of the enemies, and you actually become a better player. That's the goal. To get good. Fighting enemies you fought already over and over isn't my idea of a challenge. And I believe it reduces the challenge these Soulsborne games are meant to give us. It might be interesting in Bloodborne 2 if they implement a system where enemies in an area no longer drop echoes once the boss of that area has been defeated, but they still drop items. It's just a thought. The second thing I'd improve is the ammo system. There's way too much ammo. I basically got to the point where I can visceral most enemies, and even if I miss, I just dodge out of the way and try shooting them again. It became something that made the game a bit boring for me, and if I ever did run out of ammo, which I did when I was playing the DLC on NG+, I just went back to Hunter's Dream and bought more because it was cheap as dirt. The ammo could definitely be more sparse and a lot more expensive. With that trade-off though, maybe the guns should deal a bit more damage, so they are both a good secondary weapon as well as give you the ability to parry. Third on my list is the absolutely OP two-handed attacks by some weapons. <coughs> I know they're meant to have a long reach, and that's fine, but I feel like you should be left open after these attacks to recover, such as with a longer animation. I used the axe on my first playthrough, and I literally spun my way through most of the game. I still enjoyed it, but I tried other weapons on following playthroughs, and I quickly realized what I was missing. Ludwig's Holy Blade is now one of my favorite weapons because of the feel it has when two-handing it and the damage that can be done with its thrust attacks. Maybe these two-handed crowd-clearing attacks shouldn't do so much damage? I, I don't know. I just felt it became something I too heavily relied on and I didn't want to experience any of the other weapons in the game because of it. As much as I loved it, Spin to Win must be eliminated. Last of all, I'd rein in the ability to do too many optional bosses before story bosses. This one I'm a bit mixed on, but I feel like it could solidify the same difficulty level and experience for everyone. I can't count how many times I've seen someone write in a chat about how they found a well-known hard boss to be easy. Probably because they grinded up a ton of levels, did every single optional boss or area possible, then they went and crushed it first try. And pretty much anyone can defeat a hard boss when they're so obviously OP. I find some of the Soulsborne community completely obnoxious because of their inability to humble themselves. A game or a boss isn't easy simply because you stacked it so heavily in your favor. I'd love to see some enemies and bosses that have recommended levels similar to Neo, but once you pass that level, they increase in difficulty. That way everyone is on the same playing field. I will say that Bloodborne is probably one of my favorite games I've ever played. Everything from the combat, to the Lovecraftian style, to the lore has impressed me and I still find myself jumping back in to find my favorite bosses. But just because a game is amazing doesn't mean it can't be improved upon, am I right? So what do you think? Are you for or against any of these ideas? I love talking about this game and I'm definitely up for a chat in the comments so let me know down below. But please hold back from hurling insults and aggression at myself or anyone else because of their opinion. Remember. This is my opinion. 